Eco Training presents Birds of the Bush for twitchers and amateur birders. Each month we will teach you something about the birds of the bush that you want to see. Simply leave us your comment below and tell us which birds you would like to learn more about. Hi folks and welcome to another episode of Birds in the Bush. Today we are doing the red-billed buffalo weaver as requested by Benjamin van der Spee. So Benjamin, I hope you enjoy this episode. So guys, behind me we are at uh, in Glover Dam on Pryden's camp. Uh, today we have a beautiful buffalo weaver nest and if you look at it you'll see it sort of from the outside appearance it's just a big bundle of twigs and sticks and all sorts of goodies like that but it's actually a little bit more than that. I often used to tell my guests it's sort of like the uh, apartment block of the bird world if you want to call it that and uh, there's a sort of a few different ways these uh, apartment blocks work if you if you will. First of all sometimes you can have one male with multiple females Sometimes you have multiple males and multiple females living in one nest. And even occasionally what seems to happen as well is some of the females tend to act like what we call a brood parasite, which is something that's normally reserved for your cuckoo species. And what they'll do is they will lay their eggs in the nests of other female buffalo weavers and allow or let them raise the chicks where they are then free to carry on uh, per se. Now when you're looking at this big nest, like I mentioned earlier, it's a lot of sticks and twigs and things like that and your buffalo weavers really love using twigs especially from your acacia or what we now call vichelia species of trees they've got nice thorns on that can interlink and hook onto each other and this obviously provides a nice stable structure and strength for the nest as well uh, and besides not just providing a home for the buffalo weavers it also provides a home for other species as well for instance a lot of your uh, nesting birds that use platform nests such as your, your ducks and your geese and storks and things like that have been known to build their nests on top of old buffalo weavers nests and I suppose if it's there why not use it. Alright folks I hope you've enjoyed this and if you have enjoyed it please give us a like and remember to subscribe.